Hello YouTube, this is the 10th video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about pop-up boxes. That includes alerts, prompts, and confirm boxes. Um, basically, uh, an alert box pops up telling you information and has an OK button. It doesn't actually provide any functionality other than that. Um, a confirm box pops up with a message and asks you to either press OK or press cancel and pressing OK returns true and pressing cancel returns false. And then a prompt box pops up with a message and has an input, a text input for um, for the user to input a corresponding text value and then once they click OK it saves that value to a variable which you can use um, and we'll be using all of these in examples. So I'm going to start with the basic alert box. We use this in our second video in the series. Um, let me see here. go. Um, most browsers have different ways of displaying that, but they're all pretty similar. Uh, and one thing you can do is, you can't use like HTML line breaks, but you can use uh, regular text line breaks and like tab and stuff. Uh, there's documentation on that all over the internet if you don't know what those mean. Um, Okay, I'm going to show you a prompt of name prompt, and it has two parameters. The first one is the string you want to display. Um, and the second parameter is the default value for the text input. Now we can use that variable after somebody puts the value into the text box. So if we run that, we have a spelling error. There you go. Hudson Max. And there we go. Um, and then you can do anything you want with this variable. Uh, now I'm going to show you the last type of pop up box, which is uh, confirm. And many people use these for like, are you sure you would like to leave this page? result is equal to 2, and you can say they want to leave, otherwise you can say they don't want to leave. Okay. Amazing stuff. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, sorry, I keep telling you that this is going to be the last tutorial, and I keep remembering that there's more stuff I have to cover. So, in the next tutorial, we'll be talking about inputs um, and how to handle them. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.